Hey guys, what's up? Nova Rays here, and today, guys, we're gonna be starting on our first project video. Now, I'm really excited to get into these kinds of videos because honestly, I do like making things with technology and all that. And so, anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get into this video. Jump. Okay guys, so today we are going to be making the magic mirror, which does sound like the things from all those Disney movies, but it's not exactly that. Basically, there's a person that's put an app, it's app on the Android store, it's called like Wall Mirror or something like that. Anyways guys, I'll leave a link to all that in the description so you can go check that out for yourselves. Basically, yeah, we're going to download this app and then we're going to create an interactive mirror using this Android tablet device. So yeah, that should be pretty fun, and I hope you guys will stick around for the whole video. Okay guys, so as you can see, excluding the keyboard and the mouse, we have all our materials. So first up is the Android tablet. You know, just something simple. We've had it around the house, don't use it much. Got this like one way mirror material. Got some black cardboard, just some regular parts of cardboard boxes, string, double sided tape, and these special hooks which can go on the walls because uh, I can't put this straight on the walls because we're renting. That's always fun. So, yeah, guys, let's get into this. Okay, guys, so the first thing to do when sending this up is to download the app. Okay guys, once you've got the app downloaded, here you go, you can scroll through the app and you know, fix up all your settings. So right now, I'm going to go through this, add all the settings I want, so for examples of these, you got brightness, control, um, web, module, module, um, got mass transit module, Google calendar module, stock ticker module, um, Holidays module, weather module, day of the week module, birthday module, and time module. So I'm going to go ahead, set all this up, and I'll talk to you guys once I'm done. Okay guys, now I have done this. As you can see, it's all set up, ready to go. So, let's get into actually setting up and building this thing. Okay now guys, now that we have the... um tablet part set up, we've got all that working, we can put that aside now and work on actually, you know, the background and making it mirror-like. So first, what we want to do is we want to figure out how big we want the mirror to be. Now, because this is just a little side project, I don't want this mirror to be too big, so I'm going to have the mirror the same size as this black piece of cardboard, but the black piece of cardboard is just there to give off the effect that it is a mirror, because with this material, it's actually quite see-through. The video may not be able to pick that up, but yeah, it's quite see-through. The black will just, you know, give a little bit less transparency, you know, make it more mirror-like. So we're just going to line that up correctly. Here we go, just, we want to make sure that we cut out the right size, okay, the line's not that visible to you guys, but it is to me, and I will cut out the piece that is where the tablet will be. Okay, so that way the tablet just fits in there, you know, okay, so that's all good, that'll fit like that. Okay, and then we have to work with some of this cardboard because we want to keep it level because that um, reflective material isn't exactly like a flat piece of glass, like we can't have that as the supporting thing, so we're going to have this as it. So again, just so the black piece of paper can be level with the tablet, we have to cut out the um, outline of the tablet in this piece of cardboard here. So there we go, drawn that in, and I will now cut it out. Now, guys, you don't have to spend anything to do this. I'm just using some old pieces of cardboard that were sent to me when I ordered stuff online. So, there you go. we got to make sure that it's level. So, if we do the two of those, that will be level. Okay, so I have to outline another piece of it. Okay, because we can just go off the current piece. However, this one is a lot thicker. I may have to get some bigger scissors. 
Yeah, okay. Here we go. Definitely bigger. Okay. I want to make sure I cut all the way through. Okay, now. I'm just finding it up a bit, you know. Okay, so if we look at it like that, that should be level enough with the tablet, as you can see. So we're just going to put some double sided tape on either one of these, well, both these things. So, just a regular thin double sided tape. I find the pain with this thin double sided tape is that it's difficult to get the back side of it off without removing all as in the actual tape itself. So, again, let's bring that with me. I'll try and get this, I guess. Okay, that's here's too much marking. Okay, because okay. we have some thicker. Double sided tape will definitely hold together these two pieces. So I'm just gonna peel back that. There we go. Okay, another piece here. Just gonna peel back up again. There we go. And I think I have one more piece stretching along here. Now, to be honest, guys, I will be working more with interactive uh, mirrors in the future, creating my own versions of the coding and everything. This is just kind of like a fun little project to begin my kind of working with them. So I'll take a side and just stick it on correctly. So just line it up. Pull that one, there we go, and then we pick the right side of the paper, just there. Okay, so, let's see. You need to find, like, look at this, right? Like, you have to have the finest female nails in the world. Okay, so then, just a couple. Oh, I actually think I can just regular take to this. So, just will also hopefully hold all this together as well. So, put that piece there, line up correctly, make sure it's all good. Okay, there we go, piece number one. Piece number two, then we'll just line the top. And piece number three. Now, I know this is not that professional, guys, but it will be covered with our mirror substance, so it's not like you're gonna be looking at it. Okay, then. So you that. Just kind of with it. I believe that's the way we have it. Now, if you like me and don't take care of these kinds of things, you probably don't forget the fact that you need to be plugged in for some of the time. So, you gotta improvise it, guys. Before you have to start as you are, you're gonna put on the backboard for this. So what is all supported on, which is important. Okay, so we're gonna put that on there like that. Now, so let's put you on there so we can take for it. Oh, oh, camera analogy, guys. Yeah, that's why I thought it was fake. Okay, so, one, two. That way, it's just nice and easy. We'll keep on there. So let's just peel off the back side of it. Okay, so, make sure you put it on the right one, so, that's how we want it, and, boom. Oh, okay, that's on there. That's okay. <laughs> oh, well, it's okay, we'll make mistakes. I think I know how to fix this one. Alright, guys, I do have it. I do have something like this, so I do have a second piece of um, this cardboard stuff, so, I'll just quickly cut out another piece of it. Okay, okay that's probably solved. Right there. Okay. Right, you need to take one side this. So, just, some more take on. There, there, there. there. Here, and one more at the top. There we go. Okay. So, now I have most of the problem that I do need this to be charging. To fix that, we're going to have to cut out the slice of this bottom layer where the charger is going to be. So, you line it up correctly, that's around there, there. Okay, so. Here, if I can cut it off, this piece of paper here, let's see if we can go into there. So, again, guys, it's all about improvising on the spot. You know, if you mess up, it's okay, but lay it down. If I cut this correctly, I should be able to pull it out. Okay, that should do it, guys. If I just trim this up, right here. Yeah, guys, I'm starting to learn through this. You have to apply all the things, because stuff will go wrong. Like a camera. That's all in this time. We'll just have another take this into the library, that's what So, okay, now. Yep, that should be all good. I just have to get this. Just put it in there. Give me that. Okay, now guys, I was able to find a charger for it. So I guess I'll just plug this charger in here. That should go on and off. I don't know about that. Oh, it's perfectly. So we just have to put in. You know what? We need to double sign tape. We just take it. Here's part one. Part two. Which is looking at right Do three. And do one more just to make sure it's secure. Part four. Okay, now guys, it's good. You got that in there. So we're going to the final stage now, which is putting on this. You know, you put that on there. You know, there you have a nice reflective surface.
Okay guys, unfortunately the first prototype did not turn out how I wanted it to. As you can see, I mean the reflective sheeting that I bought is just complete garbage, you know. It's not, like, it just doesn't work, you know, it doesn't reflect as much as anything would. But as far as, like, the other stuff goes, like, it worked fairly well. Like, we got the cord in there and everything and, like... You know, the actual, like, magic part of it works. Basically, all I need to do, guys, and I will do update videos on this, is just replace this with a more, like, actually mirror-type, you know, material like this, which definitely needs a clean. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get it more reflective in the future. But as for now, guys, I have completely messed up my desk, and that, so far, guys, is our first interactive mirror so yeah guys i am sorry for the disappointment of this video um i was hoping it would turn out a lot better i had high hopes for this material but it has let me down like i don't know if the camera will pick it up but there are like creases and stuff all throughout it that was like that when i bought it so yeah i mean it's quite bad but you know what guys, we can turn this around, I will be doing an update video on this project some other time when I get better materials and know, like, fully flesh out what I'm doing with this. So, if you guys did like this and want to see more, um, you know, creation videos of uh, these kinds of things, like, I have another project coming up guys, it's our laser alarm system, if you guys do want to see that in the future. Make sure to leave a like, comment on this video, telling me what you thought of this, you know, tell me how crap it is, yeah, because, uh, you know, turned out very poorly. I will plan out the next video for this much better. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Every view is just helping support my um, dream of making and inventing these kinds of things. See you guys. Thanks for watching. I will see all you guys in my next video. Bye.